All right, I wanted to show you a neat little trick that you can do uh, that's kind of a calligraphy technique. And I originally learned it with some regular pencils, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to use a couple of um, white charcoal pencils and uh, use it on black paper. But it can also be replicated on, of course, white paper with pencils that have the usual kind of lead. But the first step you want to do in order to do this is you need to have a couple pencils about the same sharpness and um, definitely want to make sure that they're even. Um, in other words, when you put them down on a flat surface, they both can hit the surface at the same time. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that they have remained flat just like that. And then you need a rubber band. So I'm going to take this and kind of keep it as straight as I can and then take the rubber band and wrap it around the pencils just to kind of make them stay together. And the best thing to do is to make sure that you wrap it close to the tips because this is where you don't want it to, to separate. Now if we look, it looks like they're a little bit separated now. Um, this one's a little bit further than that one. And when I put it down, I can tell that too. So I'm just gonna slightly pull on this top one to adjust it and make sure that it's looking like I can pretty much touch them at the same time, and it is. So I'll start with a regular black sheet of paper and then show you what I'm talking about. So here we go, here's the black paper, and if I'm just gonna make them make lines at the exact same time, you know, well, here they are, making lines. And you can see that they're making them at the exact same time. And so how can you use this for calligraphy? Well. It's kind of neat because what you want to do in order to use it for that is you're going to want to keep it at sort of a 45 degree angle. So I'll make this straight in the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's a regular, if I'm writing or something like that with pencils, but then I'm going to make it kind of at this 45 degree angle coming from up top here. And so if I start here, I'm going to want to combine the lines as if it's a single line and move and move a little bit down and up and all that sort of thing. So it broke, the lead broke at that time, but we're going to make it a little bit better the next time. So again, I can go down and up, sort of like that. So you can see that I can go down on a similar line, up again. And it takes a little bit of practice to get used to having them line up. But again, you can go down, up, down, up down, up, and you just kind of get used to having them connect with each other. And so when you kind of get that technique down where you make them connect with each other and then allow them to sort of drift around like that, then one thing you can do is, let me just get a fresh sheet of paper so we can do this. In fact, I'll just use the back side of this one to make it a little bit easier. Right, so let's say you wanted to do the letter A, right? And we'll do the, um, the Unicall font for A, but essentially I'm gonna go up, combine them, and then down evenly, and then up again to combine them. Now this is just the, the regular bar of the A, and then I'm gonna go down and around, and there we go, almost connected. And there's a regular A, and you can see that it kinda had this almost 3D effect. And don't forget, you can also do this with, if you have sharpened pieces of chalk and you want to do it on a chalkboard, you can do that too. So let's say you want to do, I don't know, a B. We'll just kind of go through some of the letters of the alphabet. So you go up, connect, down, like that. And then you can connect them like that. And that can be your B. And if you want to do a C, you connect them. You go up, and then you put the top part on for the C. And then, of course, for a D, if we're trying to do a unicall D, um, let's do it to where we go up, down, like that, and then around, like that. And that's kind of a unicall D. So you can kind of see how this works, and it's pretty neat because instead of having to take two separate pencils, you can almost do it in one. And again, this is um, charcoal. It's a little bit smoother with graphite, but I just want to try it to see how it looked on black paper. So uh, let's say you wanted to do 
um, a word I don't know because you kind of get the idea already of how it works but and of course as you're working with calligraphy ink um, what's going to happen is you can't actually push with calligraphy ink you can only pull and drag but when you're using stuff like pencils or pens you can do it in any which direction you want to I, I tend to still just want to drag instead of push just because I'm used to doing it with pens but let's just say I wanted to write down um, I don't know some sort of a Let's say Tolkien or something. So there's the, this is going to be a T. Charcoal is misbehaving a little bit. Here's the O. And then we want to do an L. And then we want to do a K, which is going to look just like an L at first. And then you can do and there's your K. Here is your I. And then E. And then of course N. Of course, I'm a huge Tolkien nerd, so I gratuitously wrote that word, as that's what I chose to do. But this is just kind of a neat thing to keep in mind, so um, maybe you'll try it and, uh, and enjoy it. And I hope you uh, do give it a shot, because it's something that is pretty fun to practice. Now, once you get to where you can actually line them up, instead of kind of going in weird ways, once you get to where you can line them up and then go on from there, I really think that it's uh, a lot of fun just to try to make some cool little 3D effects and stuff. So. Well, I hope you liked the video. Um, please subscribe, please like it, all that other good fun stuff, and I'll keep making more new ones for you. So have a great day.